Happy Sunday everyone! In today's video, I'll share a brief update around the Cumulative Tick Pro Indicator. For all Volatility Box members, this is now available for you to download directly from our website. You can head over to tosindicators.com indicators, and down here you'll find the Cumulative Tick Pro Indicator, and that's included for free with your membership. For everyone else, you can still follow along with the idea of the Cumulative Tick, this is the free indicator that we all built together, and I'll leave a link to that in the description box as well. Volatility Box members, I've updated the Cumulative Tick Pro Indicator with Q1 of 2023's data as well. That now includes the most recent market internals data that you can use for the signals. If you're unfamiliar with what the Cumulative Tick Pro Indicator is, there's really three key benefits it provides over the basic indicator that we built together. Benefit number one is it does a morning trend analysis for you. It uses the first 30 minutes worth of market internals data, and it then plots this signal right here, which says likely trending up. If using market internals data, it can gather that, hey, there's some clues here. There's a reason why we think the market is likely to trend today. The ticks are suggesting that, hey, there's either more buying pressure or more selling pressure, and it uses that to print the signal. If you see no signal, which is the case most of the time, full disclosure, then there, you won't see uh, a likely trending up bubble like this plot on your charts, a vertical line, but instead you'll just see blank charts. And I'll show you some examples of that. Now, benefit number two is like the morning analysis, it also does an end of day trend analysis. And that's where it uses the market internals from the entire day and it determines, hey, are we likely to see trend exhaustion given how far the cumulative ticks have gone over the course of the trading day? Or do we think this trend is likely to continue? And that's where this red label right here plots. The red tells us that, hey, this bearish trend is likely to exhaust. This says likely trending exhaustion. And we can see this line plotting. It plots the day prior. So you have this information ready to go. And this is what the next day looked like inside of the S&P. We had the signal. The next day, we have a rally right off where we fill the gap. And that was the fresh start of a week as well, Monday. So this is where the second benefit comes in is it does this end of day analysis for you. And it tells you that, hey, based on the day's market internal activity, how likely is it for the trend to either exhaust and reverse the next day or continue if the market internals haven't really reached that point yet? And finally, benefit number three, it has specific buy and sell triggers that we've built in. And this is where if you take a look at the red arrows or the green arrows, we can see how that translates to price activity. Again, still the S&P 500 we're looking at here. Here's another example of a series of two uh, sell side arrows and another example as well on a Tuesday. So hopefully you can see the three key benefits that the cumulative tick provides you compared to the free indicator. You're welcome to use either, but for those that are interested, hopefully this video gives you a very clear distinction of the breakdown between the cumulative tick and the cumulative tick pro indicator. All volatility box members, this is included for free with your membership. And if you're not a volatility box member, uh, all of the pro indicators are included for free with the membership, along with things like the squeeze course, uh, and all of the back testers, whatnot. So do consider it if you are on the fence about getting access to some of these tools. You can learn more about the volatility box by clicking volatility box here. And we have two different memberships, a stock membership if you mostly trade stocks and a futures membership if you mostly trade futures markets, micro futures, or even things like the index markets. If you are curious to see more videos about the cumulative tick, I'll also leave a link to this as well. It's all of the videos which have cumulative tick discussed in them. So things like using that end of day exhaustion signal for a zero days to expiration trade or using that information to try and gather how likely are we to fill gaps uh, or even things like using them with the volatility box along with using them to spot trend days and market internal divergences uh, as well using the cumulative tick. So lots of videos here for Folks who want to do a little bit more research, it talks about using both the free and the pro version of the indicator. So you might find some interesting context there as well. 
And before we conclude, I thought it might be helpful to just show you a live example of this. This is a chart of the SPY, five minute. I'm going back 15 days here. And you can take a look at just how often these signals print. So you also get a realistic idea of what to expect. Uh, so here, this is 15 days, March 17th. Uh, Friday, we had a likely trending exhaustion. And if we take a look at how the next week starts, we start with a slight trend reversal on a Monday. If I keep coming forward, we have a likely trending up. This is March 23rd. That happens for the early part of the morning. We do get the trend up, but then that reverses fairly sharply as well. That's a Thursday. Keep coming forward. We have a likely trending up on March 29th. This one takes a lot of the day to actually pan out before ultimately into the close, it finally breaks above. Some helpful context there. The triggers here, I think, were a little bit more helpful for intraday entries in CHOP. Keep coming forward. The next day, March 30th, we have a likely trending up, but the market ends up going down instead. So here's one, which is a completely just false signal altogether. And then if I come all the way forward, no other signals that printed for the rest of the week. So hopefully this example also helps to manage expectations around how often those likely trending and likely trend exhaustion labels print, along with some examples of these uh, buy and sell triggers as well that you can use for visual reference. All right, take care everyone. Good luck trading and I'll see you in the next update.